Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Crystal and I'm so glad that you stopped by. So in today's video, I wanted to give a week update, my weekly update uh, for my second week in real estate. So it was definitely a lot more busy than last week, which is good. <laughs> so this week was all about meeting with my broker and getting, just trying to get a balance going in my life. Um, I set a schedule. Um, and I tried to stick to it. Did I stick to it? Mm, no, but I tried. I did try. Um, so I'll start by talking about the courses that I took. Um, I pretty much took a course every single day, including yesterday, Saturday. Um, and the courses ranged from uh, Moxie websites, I believe Moxie Impress, um, Seven Negotiation Skills, um pricing strategies and I'll list them I'll make sure they're listed so you can see exactly what I took um, and when I took it and so yeah I took a course pretty much every day and trying to balance that with actual working was the hard part um, I'll, I'll probably include a clip of me working and trying to watch one of the courses it was rough so um, yeah so, in addition to doing the courses, I finally got a chance to meet with my broker. Um, I went to her house on Wednesday night at about 6, 6.30, and I didn't leave her house until after 9.30. I didn't get home until 10, so that was definitely something <laughs> that I'm going to have to get used to. I'm not used to leaving my house in the evening, and I'm not used to coming home at night, so I'm going to have to get used to that. Um, but I was at her house. She has so much stuff going on in her life. Um, I don't know how she functions, but she does. She gets things done. I mean, she was getting a phone call every five minutes about business. And <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, that's what my life is going to be like at some point. And I can handle it. You know, she has a family. I don't have a family, so I won't have that element. So, yeah. So my broker helped me get set up on the, the Georgia MLS. Um, she taught me how to do like a basic search, which it's pretty user friendly. Um, she also gave me a checklist. I might insert a picture of it. It's highlighted <laughs> and circled and all those things of the things that she thinks that I should do or should be working on. And it's mainly prospecting um, and building and talking to my sphere of influence. She also helped me create an introductory text to send to my contact list. Um, and so I was able to get that sent out this weekend. And I heard back from a few of my family members and a few people um, from my contacts. No one's looking to buy just yet. Um, but I have, you know, a cousin who's like, how do I how do I get started? How do I get on track to purchase a home? So I will be sitting down with her and helping her figure that out. I also have to figure out exactly what to tell her. So, um, so that's something some research I'm going to be doing. So I'll be sitting down with her and seeing if I can help her get started to prepare to buy a home. Um, I have another cousin who's saying that they are wanting to invest, uh, buy an investment property in the next three years. So I'm like, oh. Okay, I got ample time to learn <laughs> and, and get that done. So, you know, there are some things that, you know, I'm like, okay, okay, I can do this, I can do this. I also did update my LinkedIn profile and I got a couple of me messages and, you know, I just said, hey, you know, thank you. Um, also, if you know anyone, <laughs> if you or anyone you know, um, so I definitely sent that out and there was a, a guy who said that he might be interested in buying a condo in Atlanta, uh, downtown Atlanta in the near future. So I said, I will check in with you periodically, <laughs> of course. So, I mean, I think it's a little bit more than what I expected. I didn't really expect to hear anything from anyone. So I'm grateful. I'm grateful for the um, interactions that I got. Also on the checklist that my broker gave me was um, a point to create profiles for Zillow and Trulia, which is, it's an older checklist. I don't, I think Trulia is now with Zillow um, and Realtor.com, which I can't because I'm not on the board yet. 
Um, and that's another thing that we talked about is that I probably won't join the board for a couple of months because, you know, I'm just getting started and it'll save me money because I think for the entire year, it's about $600 for, I believe the Cobb County board. And, um, but it lessens over time throughout the year. So if I can join in April, it'll be like four, a little over $400. So it'll save me some money. And that money can go toward marketing materials and things like that. So that's that's some of the things that we discussed at her house. One thing that I haven't gotten a chance to do that is on the list is creating my bio for uh, coldwellbanker.com and my website. So that's something that I would, would really like to do today. But it's the Super Bowl and my mom's cooking and I'm just like, I've been ripping and running all day. I just want to eat and come home and get ready for tomorrow. So I might write it tonight while I'm in bed. My best ideas come at night. So I might do that tonight. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much the only thing I really didn't get to do. Another thing that I got a chance to do for the first time was go to the office. I went to the Sandy Springs office. That's where I'm, you know, affiliated. And I picked up my business cards and I love them. Now, like I said, I didn't have a headshot. I had to use my LinkedIn profile picture, but I think it looks good. I think it looks, you know, personable and yeah, I hope they're effective. <laughs> the only challenge is looking like that crystal every single day. So I don't want anyone to think that I'm a fraud and I don't look like who I look like in the picture. And they're like, the yeah, the only thing is that I need to look like the crystal in the actual picture every day. <laughs> so yes, I'm very happy with them. Um, yeah, so that was interesting going to the office. No one was really there, <laughs> um, which I've heard that that's like people are remote. So makes sense. Last but not least, I'll talk about the schedule that I created. So like I said in the previous video, I am working full time and I'm working CT hours. So I work from 9 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. So it doesn't leave much room outside of that time frame for me to do real estate. So what I've come up with is from 7 until 9 a.m., I'll be researching the market, checking the hot sheets and the, checking the hot sheet and the MLS. Um, checking emails so that's from 7 to 8 and then from 8 to 9 I'll be prospecting hopefully I can prospect during lunchtime because my lunchtime is a little different from most people um, I'm gonna have to figure that out but I hope to spend about I only get a 45 minute lunch guys so I might be able to stretch it and make it an hour and do an hour of prospecting and then in the evening after 5.30, so from about, I can maybe start at five. You know, I might, <laughs> I might be able to start at five. Um, but from five to probably 7.30, maybe even eight, I'll be prospecting. And then once I have clients, any client work that needs to be done, I'll be doing the client work in those hours if I can't also prospect. I don't know what the client work is going to entail, but those are just, I'm just giving myself a time frame. So it pretty much comes down to about seven to eight hours. Now, will I be working that seven to eight hours every single day? Probably not. And on the weekends, I'm giving myself eight to eight each day, Saturday and Sunday, to get my real estate tasks done. That includes, um, we get daily leads from our broker. So checking the FISBOs, um, checking and calling the FISBOs, the expired listings, um, just prospecting as much as I can. Getting out and about, because I can't really get out and about every, during the week, I plan to be out and about on Saturday and Sunday, talking to people, running into people at the supermarket. If I strike up a conversation, like, hey, do you know anyone who needs a realtor? <laughs> Do you know, oh, well, I can't say realtor yet, but do you know someone who needs a real estate agent? Do you need a real estate agent? Because I'm here. I'm right here and I can definitely help you. So, yeah. So that's how I spent this week. <sighs> it was a lot more, but I'm ready for more. So the goal for next week 
start doing scripts and start actually calling people. So I'm a little nervous about that, but I'm also really excited. Um, and of course, more courses. <laughs> I think I'm taking, there's a course that I'm taking next week that I'm really excited to take. Um, I think it's called Owning Objections. So I'm gonna have to get used to hearing no. So I think this course is gonna help me really be able to handle rejection. I've been rejected a lot in my life, so it's nothing new. I have a call center background where I did outbound calls, okay? And I, so I've heard no. I've heard all kinds of things in all kinds of ways. Yeah, so it's gonna be interesting to see how people react and respond to me calling, but I'm excited. Um, I'm really intrigued by how this is going to go. And so yeah, so that's the plan for next week. Scripting, doing scripts, prospecting, and just learning, soaking it all in. Um, I, I think that's all that I have. It's been a little, um, I wouldn't say chaotic, but it's definitely been more busy. So we'll see how it goes with these calls. I'm excited and I can't wait to give you guys an update next Sunday. And oh, also I'm in the gym about five days a week too. So I'm having to work that in too. I don't know how I'm not tired. Hmm, interesting. But yes, so that's all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Like I said, questions, feedback, motivational comments. I appreciate it all. Um, and I will see you all next week.